Hi, all together. Hello, welcome to today's webcast, Digitization in Retail with Weather-Sensitive IoT Shelf Labels. I would like to introduce Eric Haas to you, one of our strategic business partners from Switzerland. My name is Jörn Kaller. I work for IBM Germany. I hand over to Eric and see you later in the question and answer and the panel discussion. Hi there, glad to be here. We're going to try to give you a couple of examples of uh, developments in the retail industry and how Bison and IBM have created uh, a contribution to the new shopping experience. I don't think it's a secret for anyone to understand that the traditional brick and mortar retailers um, are facing challenges. The challenge is being to reinvent itself to avoid what we refer to as uh, the camera shopper. The camera shopper pretty sure every one of you has been a camera shopper one in his life you go to a store you look at the product um, you see the price you see the product but you're not quite sure if you're getting the right product the right price the right specification so what would you do you take your smartphone you make a picture of that product you make a picture of the price label as well and you go home and you try to find it online and you compare the, the price, you compare the specification, you get some other uh, information from the website or the online platform where you're on. Um, of course, that is not something that the retailers enjoy a lot. Now, of course, they have developed their own online shopping platforms, which means that there's a chance that you could find them online on their own platform or that they will get customers from other platforms coming to theirs. Um, still, um, the objective here is to reinvent a new shopping experience because it's unlikely that the uh, retail stores will disappear anytime soon. And if you need any proof of that, you'll have noticed that a couple of years ago, Amazon has acquired the whole food chains of stores and are using them today as a brick and mortar platform for their online retailers. You can pick up products there but you also find products which you only find in these stores. So there is really a, a complementing offer between online and offline purchasing experiences. And that's what IBM and Bison are trying to achieve by introducing electronic shelf labels which are weather controlled. And I'll take the example for that. But before we get there, let's take a look on why do customers uh, act as what I refer to as camera shoppers. Well, the thing is that we're lacking the trust because when we're looking at a traditional shelf label, which is what you see on the left hand here on, on, on that screen for a bottle of wine, what do you see? You see the product description, you see a price, you see some minimal additional information, but that information doesn't build you trust. Trust means, am I sure that I'm buying the right product? Am I sure that I'm buying the product at the right price? Is this product right for what I intended to use it with? Because I'm preparing this pasta dish today. Is this wine uh, right for, for pasta or not? That's all question which I would like to have answered in the store. And of course, you know, we have less and less uh, personnel in the store, so I will not or unlikely get that support. And I would get probably a number of these information when I go online. So. What we're trying to do um, with uh, this technology is to get you this information, you as a customer, treat you as a dedicated customer, a specific customer, which will get the information which he's looking for uh, as if you would be online. So in reality, what we're talking about when we're talking about electronic shelf labels, which look like this, if you can see them, an electronic shelf label should be really considered as a micro web page. A micro web page which sits right at the shelf and can be adjusted based on different parameters. And one of these parameters or several of these parameters can be external parameters such as weather. But let's keep um, looking at our wine example here. You've seen uh, this first label which was a very paper type label. So now we're switching to this electronic shelf label which has been adjusted in the background by the ESL management system in order to reflect the reality of this product. Well, the reality of this product is first of all that it has been reviewed online on different platforms by a number of people. And these people, th that number is de described on, on the shelf label, 
And this, this product has a, a, an average ranking of 4.6 points per se, right? Well, here I'm giving you on the shelf some information that you would normally find only online. And of course, I'm adjusting this daily, right? To, to, to reflect the reality of the product. And I'm telling you, yes, I'm building trust for you. This is a good product. On the right-hand side, you see it's a top seller. This is not only a good product in general, but in this store, it sells very well. So you're not the only one buying this product, which probably gives you the idea that either it's a good product or it has the right price, or even better, both of these parameters. It's a good product and it's the right price because a lot of people are buying it. So we're building, again, trust for you as a, as a customer in this store. As you can see on this same example, you'll see that if for some reason I don't have this product in the store, well, the label is going to tell me, sorry, sir, we don't have it, but we'll get it in a couple of days and we'll get this quantity. So if you come back in two days, you'll get that product. We can also tell you, well, we don't have it in this store, but we have another store a couple of miles away. And if you go there, you'll find it. This is exactly the kind of information that you'd expect from an online shopping platform to give you. When will you have your product? When is it available? When is it going to be delivered to you? The same way what you get online is the information you see at the bottom of this label is to say, well, people who have bought this product have also bought another product. Or if you're buying this product, you should probably consider buying this other one because if you're buying pasta, you might as well buy basil or tomatoes or something that goes with pasta uh, to, to prepare your sauce or your, 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 your dish, your complete dish. So this is an example. What you saw, seen before was a typical paper label. And what you see here is an electronic shelf label that is driven by external factors in order to give you the trust and the confidence that you're buying the right product. And of course, giving you the, the sentiment that you are supported, uh, counseled properly, and for, of course, the retailer to trigger a spontaneous purchasing decision from you to buy this product. Now, this is a very simple way to understand how electronic shelf label are migrating the shop, online shopping experience into the store. Now, what we've done with IBM, we've brought it one step further. What if the product on the shelf would actually help you make this purchasing decision based upon external factors which have nothing to do with market, with other shoppers like you, but with the product itself? Let's take an example of uh, fertilizer for roses. I'm a roses fan. Uh, it's April. My roses are, are, are buttons, are showing buttons, and I know I need to, to fertilize them. I'm going to this do-it-yourself store. I'm standing in front of the, of the fertilizer uh, shelf, and there's 20 products there. And I don't know which one I, I should buy because uh, some of them are for full sun roses, the other for shade roses, for... Uh, bad weather roses and whatever. I don't know where I should, uh, which which product I should get. Um, now I have one solution: is to go and find somebody to help me. So I'm walking through the store. Takes me five minutes. I find somebody. I'm dragging him to the to the shelf and uh, and uh, I'm uh, asking him, okay, which of these fertilizers should I use? Well, sir, I don't know. I'm from the hardware department, so I can't really help you. Well, here is my problem. So with our solution, we have connected this very shelf label that you see on the, on, the, on the screen here with IBM Weather Company data. So this product this morning has gone online, has checked the weather, and if the weather is accurate for or is applicable for this product now, it will tell you so. And that's what you're seeing in this new layout. You see that this product says, sir, I am the right product to fertilize your roses for the next three days. Not next week, not yesterday, but for the next three days. So you will find out of these 15 or 16 products that are there, the right product for you to use at this point in time. And of course, if you're in Rome, you get a different adv advice <laughs> than if you're in New York, Paris or London, because obviously it's never the same weather in London than anywhere else in the world. So. Um, that's what we're doing with this kind of things. Products that can be made weather aware are numerous. You can think about wines, of course, beverages in general, per se, right? Beverages uh, are 
for hot weather, cold weather, warm weather, freezing weather. But uh, we reckon that 20% of the products in any store could be made weather aware. What about an umbrella? Well, it's better to buy an umbrella when it's going to rain, and it's better to have one when it's raining. So that's, that could be uh, a, a case where the, the system will allow the product itself at the shelf to promote itself. So um, we're going to um, open a panel discussion with uh, my friend Jörn, and uh, we'll see you later for some uh, video content as well. Thank you, Eric. Wow, that was very interesting. I learned a lot about how to use electronic shelf labels in other areas of store experience and store communication. Um, besides the weather integration of IBM technology, are there any other shopping experience use cases which you promote to your customers in the store? Well, we can look at that from, from, from two angles, Jörn. Um, first of all, we're trying to work on uh, in-store processes and on customer processes. So I can give you an example of, a, of an in-store process very easily on, on how we can use um, uh, these electronic shelf labels. What happens when an item is out of stock, right? You go to yeah. the shelf and this bottle of wine is not there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a problem for the retailer, right? Because uh, obviously the shelf has not been replenished. And what happens when the employee comes to this shelf and sees this empty shelf? Well, typically he goes back to this, uh, the warehouse mm -hmm searches the product, can't find it, then goes to the office, goes to the computer, looks into the computer and sees that this product has been replaced by another one. So then he goes back to the warehouse, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, gets mm -hmm. the right product, prints a new paper label, yeah. goes back to the shelf and finally puts the new label and the new product to the shelf. Now with ESLs, as soon as the system knows that this product has been replaced by another one, mm -hmm. it will indicate it for the store employee uh -huh. in the store. Be careful. If you have to go to the warehouse, don't look for the old product. Go and get the new one. So the employee goes to the warehouse, picks the new product, brings it to the shelf, and with one click on the store app, the electronic shelf label will switch to the new product when it's been put in the shelf. So a process that lasted for 10 minutes before with the back and forth to the office and to the warehouse has been replaced by a process that probably takes maximum half the time. So that, I guess, is a pretty good example of how you can use electronic shelf label and digital displays to help the employee in the stores. That's amazing. That's really good. That's really good. You mentioned time saving. What about, I remember I saw some of those labels here, if you can see them. They have sometimes LED lights on it, and they blink, and they can blink. Isn't it possible to use that for in-store navigation or other stuff, for floor maps? Well, technically, you couldn't let uh, these uh, labels blink for navigation itself. Yeah. Um, you need to get the people in front of the shelf mm -hmm. first. So that would be the, the, the in-store navigation component, which we're working on, which all large retailers mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. on, to get the customers as quickly as possible or as efficiently as possible mm -hmm. to the right space or the right shelf. But once you're in front of the shelf, imagine a customer, you're looking for, you're in a hardware store and you're looking for a nail, one and a half inch by five with a flat head or something like that. And you have this big wall with uh, dozens, hundreds mm -hmm. of, of, of nails. Which one is the one that you're looking for? Well, if you have identified it online, you could with an click on your application, let that label mm -hmm. use this LED yeah. and indicate to you exactly where is that nail, right? If you have a minute, I'll tell you another story about Please. that same example with that same nail and that same LED, which is good for the store employee because the store that doesn't have LED uh, sharp, uh, shelf labels mm -hmm. with LEDs, you go to the store, you're looking for this nail, you take a pack of nails, oh, this is not one and a half inch, it's two inches. But now you have to put it back and find the real one. But you already have forgotten where you took it, from which hook on the thing. Uh -huh. So what do you do? Well, in a good case, you put it on an any uh -huh. hook uh -huh. or you put it at the bottom of the shelf, right? Yeah. And what happens later on? The store employee has to take these 50 packs yeah. of nails yeah. and yeah. put them in the right space. Well, that's a lot of work for a store employee. That takes hours every week for store employees to right. re-put the, 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 the items on the right hooks. 
Well, with mm -hmm. electronic shelf labels, including an LED, they have a little app. They pick this thing that you, Jörn, have dropped mm -hmm. there. They scan it, and immediately the hook blinks, and you can put it back to the right thing. So that's even for oh. customers which wouldn't be using that's the good. app to let the product blink. You, as a, or me as a store employee, mm -hmm. I could fix quicker the behavior of some customers putting it in the wrong place. That's good. Or the other way around for the clients, you know, you can you can indicate on the shelf that nail which fits to the requirement the client's looking for as an advertise, uh, not not an advertise advisement, which nail he should use for, let me say, bringing a picture on the wall. We could do that too. Yeah. Great. Um, can you can you give us an insight in concrete opportunities or on concrete projects anonymized where you're just working on where our our clients and our audience can maybe step into a store and look how that how that is implemented well if we stick to if we stick to weather applications yeah. um, there there's some obvious areas um, the, the the biggest impact the biggest echoes we have from the retail industry are in weather sensitive mm -hmm. retail industries and one of them is uh, beverages for instance mm -hmm. right Beverages is an extremely seasonal business. Mm -hmm. You don't drink the same beverages in the summer, in the winter, uh, in the spring, when it rains, when mm -hmm. it's hot, when it's cold. So we have a lot of, um, of, of interest from beverage retailers because we can drive uh, promotions on products, communications to customers on products based on weather. Another area is obviously the garden center things. You have to imagine uh, garden centers sell flowers as long as the sun shines. Flowers sure. for planting, right? So you got these, uh, whatever, tulips bulbs, right? As long as the tulip time is there you'll se uh, and the, 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 the sun shines, you'll mm -hmm. sell these plants. Uh, the day it rains, it's too late. The customers will not buy them anymore. Mm -hmm. So what we do for the, the retailers in the garden center business is that we analyze the weather situation, the weather forecast, and at the shelf, we first tell the customer, it's great weather for planting by these mm -hmm. tulip bulbs, but when the weather turns bad in the end of the season, we'll tell the customer, buy the things now, they're reduced. Not telling them that the weather That's is not smart. going to be That's that good, smart. but we'll say, hey, we're reducing the things now because we know that the, 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 the plants yeah. won't sell yeah. later on. So these are typical, uh, very, very uh, retailers that are prone to use this kind of technology. Oh. And that's all cloud-based, guys. Uh, what Last question, Eric. What convinced you to engage with IBM in this area? Well, uh, the weather application that we're talking about here is really only the tip of the iceberg. Yes. Um, we have now a smart device at the shelf that can react to all kinds of triggers. So mm -hmm. we've defined weather as mm -hmm. one trigger, but um, the IBM Watson platform delivers number of other triggers. You have this beautiful uh, platform called Metropulse, yes. which analyzes or, or provides uh, everything that's happening around the area where the customer or the retailer sits. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example. There's a home game of the local uh, football uh, team. And we know that this, the fans of this football team drink this local beer because we also have a local beer. Mm -hmm. So why don't we promote that local beer when we know that there's a home game for this thing? Makes or uh, if there's going to be a big concert of uh, some uh, big star, but it's going to rain that day, mm -hmm. maybe we'll promote all the umbrellas or raincoats, uh, yeah. cheap raincoats, and say, hey, you're going to this big star outdoor concert and the weather is going to be bad. Mm -hmm. Have you bought, bought your, your raincoat or your umbrella? So we can, we can use a lot of additional services from, uh, from the IBM platform in, in there. Not mentioning, of course, uh, artificial intelligence in order to correlate these information. Because now we have uh, weather data and we have sales data from the shelves, from the products, and we can correlate them also to make purchase predictions, sales predictions, price predictions, and so So there's a whole lot of uh, additional services that will be together with IBM providing mm -hmm. through the electronic shelf label platform. Thank you, Eric. Wow, that sounds very interesting and very good and offers you a broad range of opportunities if your client with Bison and IBM. Thank you very much. And after a short summarizing movie, we would like to offer you a question and answer session. We stay here, we be here. You will not see us again, but 
we're more than happy to answer your questions. Don't Thank go anywhere. Much. We'll be Don't back. Say, we'll be back.